there, there. Just a quick thank you to all the renegades on screen right now who decided to contribute down below via the join button financially. I appreciate it, my friends. If you do enjoy the content, please consider clicking that join button down below. Also, you can also click that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell to help support our content grow even further. We're going to stream at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together. Enjoy the show, my friends. Hey there. Welcome back to Noita. I'm Suffer of Let's Suffer Together back in the Holy Mountains, my friends. Hey, I hope you're doing well. We're going to learn a little bit today about one of the most probably underappreciated, one of the most, you know, give me a sec. There you go, get around the bottom left hand corner. Beautiful. That was some stream. Um, but there are many very good spells, and we use a lot of good spells in the game. A lot of replicators, known as Greek spells. Alpha, it copies spells, no matter if you have 20 personal gravity fields, you will eventually run out. However, if you have Greek spells, if you follow the rules, you can copy them unlimited. You know, you'll have unlimited versions of the spell. Instead, if it for Alpha, if you put it at the start of the wand, Gamma, if you put it at the end of the wand, you would need to put the actual spell at the end of the one. The Gamma and Alpha can go anywhere. Same, well, Tau needs to go before the two spells that it's copying. And you've got Omega, Mu, Phi, Sigma, all doing different things and very, very useful for long runs. However, the one of the most unappreciated and probably overlooked spells is Zeta. Mainly because it copies a random spell in another wand you are holding. So... I was using this in no hit runs the other day, and it kind of occurred to me that I wanted to do a video on it, just to, you know, show you how you could potentially use it, learn a little something about it. Now, the thing about Zeta, and I think why most people don't use it, is because it requires amazing one discipline. The first thing we're going to learn about it, and unfortunately so, and I didn't actually notice until I did a tiny bit of science for myself before, Wand refreshes stop a wand from working, you know? Even though this is Shuffle, it's only got a Lumi drill on, so we can kind of discount the second wand. If this if this wand did a Lumi drill, that's no science right there. What we can do anyway is just empty that Shuffle wand. Because on a non-Shuffle wand, it's going left to right, and those little circles, these wand refresh basically mean this wand doesn't work. Even though it's got spells on it, doesn't work. Pressing, pressing buttons, nothing's happening. However, if I was to... The Zeta copies past the one Refresh. So unfortunately, you can't force an inventory. The one Refresh are good for quite a few things. Like, if I wanted to just make this wand a Lumi Drill wand, we can't... It won't fire the Unstable Crystal, the Earthquake, Propane. Just, uh... Nice little Lumi drill. The only problem with Wand Refresh, if you run out of mana, it can then fire these things, which is weird, but you just gotta watch out for your mana consumption. However, with the lack of Wand Refresh working, you need even greater Wand Discipline. So, with the ability to not force extra inventory, of course, if you, say, did this. And it's not actually, it's not actually easy to see. There should be a Lumi, like, we can actually test if there's a Lumi drill on this one by digging in to the terrain. And you see, uh, when the wand runs out, you can see it's actually digging into the terrain with the Lumi drill. So the Zeta is actually low-key, really good. Because look at the stats. You can copy a spell for 10 mana. Now, if you find it early on, because obviously, if you're on a long run, normally you'll out-inventory yourself. You just won't be able to really do anything with Zeta, mainly because you'll be carrying too much. And hey, if you have edit ones everywhere, it does bring Zeta into play a lot more than if you don't. Because you're not... Unless you build one singular one that's doing all the work with Zeta, which, again, would require... A lot of work. You ain't probably going to get anywhere. However, three black holes on a wand. 
that will never run out. So if you want to do some work in the short term, say I'm here and I need to do a black hole for free, even though you should have refreshed the black holes by now, you can always get it on the cheap without using it. Say you needed to save it for later and you didn't have edit, but you wanted to use it in the Holy Mountain. Or you're willing to come back and forth. I'm not even sure it has the cast delay or anything like that. Oh, actually, it might actually have the cast delay. Yeah, it does. It feels like it anyway. Must use on me now. It doesn't matter. So the one discipline element to this is quite a, quite high, which is, well, it is what it is. I wish we could have used the one refresh, which is a big mark against it, you know? Now we can judge this quite harshly because it only costs 10 mana. Oh, we've invited them in. But luckily, we have edit ourselves, so we can get out of the way of these guys. And run away and see what we can do because I used this during a no hit run very successfully. I got really high damage via concentrated spells and managed to again force a good build, which was really nice. The one thing you can't do with Zeta is have a load of other Zetas on a wand and expect a Zeta to copy a Zeta to copy a Zeta to copy something else. It doesn't work like that, you can't copy it. You can see, it just... It runs out of mana. Because there's too many Zetas and it's just emptying the wand without, you know, automatically automatically going Z, 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 you know, and then black hole. It's not a chain reaction. You have to manually go through each Z separately. Which, of course, is a nice little tidbit. Not the most useful, because you're not going to normally have many Z spells. Unless you want to make, you know, a giant... Say you did this. Because it's going to copy random spells. So say you wanted a ratio compared to your Spark Bolt on the wand. You know, you wanted four say spark bolts or black holes compared to the one spark bolt you could do like you could make some you could pull resources from the wand like four times over the spark bolt which again for 10 mana that's four rockets all at once I'm not sure why I fired all of them at the same time then it could be the it could be that Zeta's power lies in the fact it doesn't slow down your wand. You know, it doesn't add cast delay, it doesn't add recharge time. The weakness comes from poor wand discipline. But again, if you have edit and you and Zeta is the only Greek spell you find early, like I was saying, later on, you can just go kill Alchemist. There's very little use for it later on. But if you find it in a shop, which you will find it more than any other Greek spell, you can most definitely, you know, not ignore it and actually put it to work. Because sometimes, even, say, you're not always going to find, you know, edit ones everywhere. Sometimes you're not going to have a wand that's going to do the job for you. So you might want to consider running very deficient ones on the other ones just to make your main one, that little bit more spicy. It does uh, limit the potential chance of picking stuff up though. Now if you're going for a long run, you don't necessarily need to carry your entire inventory around with you. Well, if you leave it in a, spa in a place you know you're coming back to for later, you could run very short loadouts to achieve something with this one. Now, where is... I need to go... Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Right. Let me just pick up the rest of this. These guys can't hurt me. Think about it this way. I am using the default wand to achieve this, you know? Black holes. Rockets. 
So say you had very early on, and again, you've got to look at this spell in the lens of a casual run through, where you wouldn't normally find any other Greek spells, unless you go extensively looking for them outside of the main kind of pathing. Like, the ability to, you know, open up the Holy Mountain like a tin opener. I mean, you should have a black hole on another one. But say you need to do work outside to get more spells. Say I wanted to, for instance, have unlimited black holes, but I only have three black holes, right? You could, one, if you had a black hole in the first place, burrow out of here, if you don't mind, Steve, that is. Right. Clear a path. And instead of waiting for later in the room where you might have more black holes, say we just didn't have Lumi Drill. Again, this is a... It's one of the Greek spells that requires the most patience. Don't worry, we've got all the extra lives, so we could have possibly wanted this one. Hey, leave me alone, guys. And ignore the fact that Plasma's there. So again, good one discipline would be preferable. <laughs> but we don't have any speed up, but that's fine. Actually, I can just quickly give myself a projectile repulsion just to simulate many black holes. Just pretend I never did this. Uh, projectile repulsion. That's all. Just stop. So. Uh, sorry, dude. But even if you put, like, a single other thing on the wand. There you go. So in the quest for... I think Zeta is one of those spells that allows you to improve your quest for more, better spells. And I think it gets ignored a little bit too much. Especially, you know, when it concerns challenge runs. Like, because if you're doing a very specific type of run where all you need to do is get down to the bottom and fulfill a condition, like, say, a no-hit run, If I, ha if I gave myself concentrated spells, which would add an extra bunch of damage. Um, there's no sound in here, by the way. That's why there wasn't any sound. So. Give me my concentrated spells. If I give myself, say, a triplicate bolt. Oh, that's perks. And the triplicate bolt being... There we go. And the triplicate bolt being saying, very good for the extra damage. Better than, well, I say better than glass cannon. You don't have the damage debuff on glass cannon, which is very nice. So, say I just, on my default wand, put a shotgun. And let's just, we can get rid of the black holes. Say we just didn't need them. Say it's irrelevant now. And... We ended up taking a personal gravity field, for instance. Personal gravity field, which... Uh, gravity field? Give me a gravity field game. Oh, that's a projectile gravity field. We need a personal gravity field. Ah, uh, personal... Personal gravity field. There we go. Words. And it's like... 3 o'clock in the morning. Give me a break. <laughs> Problem is, though, again, if you, say, have... Ones which has inventory, or even just anything else on any other ones... It becomes a little bit problematic. And more of a... Potential math equation... To work out, rather than... You know, anything else. So, oh, it's copies around as well. In another one you are holding, I'm gonna test this live because it says in another one you are holding. However, I don't fully believe that it wouldn't take off my original wand because this gravity field can't work. It's got too much mana, you know, to work on the wand. The Z will work though. 
and the shotgun will work. So what we want, with the concentrated damage, we're looking to shoot triplicate bolts at the enemy that would put a gravity field on them to stop them hitting us. Now, because this wand can't afford it, and again, it goes down to... I'm sorry, what? How the fuck did we get in here? Ah, we came all the way around. I should really have a teleport one, but... Hey, things happen. So, if a gravity field pops up on the enemy, it doesn't even have to be on a different wand. But the amount of times you find Zeta, like, in a shop really early on, is kind of nuts, actually, considering it's a Greek spell. However, being of a... It, it is definitely... Of a different rank, a uh, lower rank than. What are you doing? So, no gravity field shows up. Which is very obvious if it does. You get a nice little concentric circle going on. So, is this one instance where the actual description of a spell lives up to its name? I think it is. I think we would have had it by now. But again, concentrated spells, adding an extra is it 12 or 14 damage to each shot. So, make shotguns highly sought after with concentrated. But say I didn't have the one capacity, and we didn't want to, you know, pay the price, pay the mana price for it. Now, that dude, because it's a non-shuffle wand as well, I've guaranteed myself a gravity field for 10 mana, you know? And they can't shoot at me anymore. And you can extend that logic out to anything else that costs a lot. Like, say... You just didn't have the wands, but you wanted to use the item. It's a nice early reach around. <laughs> it's a nice early reach around and get, get around for that kind of... So, again, there's a lot of problems with it, of course, because... You'll need to be highly disciplined and not have silly stuff on the wands. But gravity field in itself will suck in, you know, projectiles like that. And especially with when we're doing extra damage with Sage Open. Very nice for, say, personal defense. What happened? I wonder what happens. Probably nothing if an enemy had a wand with Zeta on it. Probably nothing, right? But again, I think it's kind of, it's a little curiosity, right? And a little possibly underestimated as a spell. Possibly for good reason, you know. But again, 100 mana. You're probably not going to want to use this, but... Dude has. You could do two different modifiers. And then put two different Zs. Since it's an other spell, I'm not sure if it would... Yeah, other spells don't seem to, you know, act. It's not stopping, you know. It's not stopping me firing, so it's not getting in the way of the shot. But the octagonal bolt bundle is one of those that you need a shot to slow down a certain amount. Uh, gotta remember that with it being a 10 mana 10 mana spell it's not like you're going to be wanting, wanting to copy something like a Lumi drill that costs 10 mana in the first place so again when you're concerning say you find something really early out of a chest that costs say 600 mana that you might want to use you know you know those um, things that can be a little bit expensive even though it's 80 mana it's about the mimicry as well. Say I had a circle of vigor. Again, I think it's one of those... That if you wanted a, a very simple loadout, and you're doing the damage. It spells circle. Yeah, thanks. Luckily, we've got an extra lot of extra less. Circle of... Vigor, we're going to need it after this, dude. Oh, the gravity field worked just as he died. So.
Ah, with concent yeah, with concentrated circle of vigor doesn't work as well. Um, it is hurting me when I fire because the concentrated damage. Well, there's something to be said for instantly blowing yourself up, I suppose. And uh, hey, we'll move on. But as you can see, even with hold on, with three zeros. It, like, is it random? You do have to deal with that nature of, you know, Zeta will take what it wants from random, so say three Zetas, you could just take three circles of bigger. Could do. Or it could take a mixture and match. But again, for the particular no-hit run element, where you are very limited on resources in no-hit runs, and actually gaining a lot of damage and the ability to get, a, uh, you know, extra spells very cheaply in combat, if you plan ahead, that you don't have to pay the price for, don't have to slow down your one for, that kind of thing. Oh yeah, heal Steve because that's an ideal situation. Yeah, hey, but now he's got the gravity field, you know. If he's got the gravity field up, we can change here on the fly, you know. We can do what we want. We can heal it. So you can do multiple things at once. And never took the black hole. Not that you'd want black hole on the same one as a triplicate bolt, mainly because you don't want to be pulling your own projectiles. So again, you've got to definitely know what you want. And the I say the limit is your imagination. It's not one of those situations, right? Let's not get carried away with ourselves. You know? <laughs> It's not going to change your entire life, but I thought, you know, I wanted to represent the old Zeta at least a little bit because it doesn't get any love anywhere, any point in time. I hope you, I hope you shown a little bit about what it can do. It's mainly the takeaways from today is, you know, unlimited spells. Yet again, early on in shops that you might be missing. And the fact it costs 10 mana to do so, so you can take that into the biomes if you plan ahead. And you don't mind, you know, putting everything else in the top inventory. Because there's no way around it, you can't have set, you can't have a Lumi Drill anywhere and expect it not to be copied. Even with, say, Wand Refreshers and stuff like that. One last little stay. And I think we can leave it at that. Okay, it's a nice simple video today. Hey, but thank you for watching. I've been suffering of less stuff together. If, if you enjoyed the content, hey, you can click that like button down below if you fancy. Subscription and, uh, you know, there's always a join button if you fancy to contribute to the channel financially and help us do what we do here in a strongly considered way. We also stream live at twitch.tv forward slash less stuff together. And uh, hi, all right, guys, take it easy out there. Enjoy the rest of your video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy. But yeah, a real renegade of a spell that, you know, living in the shadows, doing his thing. So I got a board out there. Have a nice little chill video over it. But take it easy, guys. Steve's not gonna. He's uh, gonna be highly stressed <laughs> for a little while now. But I'll see you later. See you in the next video or next stream, my friends. Take it easy. See you soon.